crazy chunks in the air as most de debonair man or oh, man strides into the room. Springing forth from his lair, his foe was all despair for black the name of Odadoom. Oh ho! Then our black, blackly, black, blackly, blackly, boom. He, uh, something black, that guy's nick, that guy who says, Woo. You drunk. Gosh, you drunk. That's it, quit breaking the windows. What are you yelling about? Oh, man. Yeah, I just had O-Chunk to come up with a nice motivational tune. You should have sang my Yoshi song. It's much better than this. And the Spongebob getting beat by the hero again, I'm making him sing a uh, thousand times. One thousand? One thousand times? I'm sure even more evil than I thought. Hey, but enough chatting, so where's the cat? I wanna see him. He hasn't called me to go do anything, so I'm getting so... And I'm getting so bored. Hey, count me. My dearest distracted little friend is all gassed up and itching to get back in action. Yes, the robot is begging me to take him out. Save a word and I'll roll out. Yeah, great enthusiasm, but let's shelf the robot action plan for now, okay? The thing is, the cat kind of left specific orders for us to stand by, got it? No way, we're just supposed to wait here for those big mean heroes to come get us? So the cat doesn't need my services. Excellent, I'll be off then. No, nowhere. We wait until it's account direct. It's account's direct order. His word is absolute. Be a good little minion and do not move until told. Okay. Thanks. You're moving. But I'm so. But I'm bored. And Robot craves his daily smash. I can't just loiter here. There is no action. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm staying when you still want to pine for sweet vengeance, isn't it? Dementio! The count orders are all absolute, completely without exception, yes? We shouldn't even dare to think about a secret sneak attack. Perish the thought. Defeating the heroes will please the camp bravely, but we must follow orders. Oopsie, this one is something really important that I gotta do. Back in a jiffy. Bye! Yeah, and uh, I've, uh, I've got uh, the Flavorizer Robots Flavorizer. I'll return once everything's up to code. L uh, later, Dementio. <laughs> my, my, isn't that something? I do believe I should be moving on as well. Tippy, Tippy. What? What's the matter, Tippy? You seemed a little out of it, out of it now. Well, didn't you just hear something? No. All right then. It's just that for a second I thought I'd remembered something very important. Earthquake. Void, it looks like it's gone bigger. We need to open the door to next world quickly. Let's hurry. Oh, I'm still in danger. I'll go back to the inn and see. I'll go back to the inn and heal up or something. Be back. Oh ho, oh ho, you're back! Have you seen the sky lately? And the void continues to grow larger. I imagine that some mods have already started to de decay. I wonder how long our dear Flipside will be spared. I like that Masticus doesn't say anything about how long we have. 
The light prognosticus is only written to counteract the dark one. As such, it's not truly prophetic, so it's hard to say how long we really have. And yet, I feel confident in saying that we do not have much time at all. So we can only go forward now. We can't just wait for all worlds end, can we? Of course, you're right, my dear. I've received a message from Nolrum recently. It seems that there is a hot pillar located on the outskirts of Flopside. As such, as you're no doubt seeking the next hot pillar, that is a good place to start. I'll go back to like Gnoscus to look for clues. Okay, I guess I'll go rest and go get that heart pillar. Yeah, now I'm here. Let's go do stuff, I guess. So first we have to go to Flopside. So I mean, you guys there as well. Okay, now that we're on the flop side, I guess we can go deal with stuff, I guess. Uh, I think for the first floor call is to build a shortcut to flip side because we have to get there quicker because this takes way too long. all the way over there. So this guy that looks like the bubbler from Number Jacks. Or well, the puzzler. Sorry, the puzzler. Ah, I'm surprised you f you're finding me. I'm called Welderberg. Welderberg Workshop. I'm the Iron Man of the, of the forging of pipes. Have you ever thought? Ah, it, it's taking so long to get around town. Yeah, me too. So it is my life's work to make the pipes for transportation. I've inspected here, yeah? And I'm thinking I can make a pipe green the flip side. What do you think of this? Are you covering the cost of materials and labor, yeah? I can make such a pipe. Uh, you're looking for a... Good. Good. You are looking mean. Not very rich. This farmer is sort of jarring to read. How is 300 coins? Are we having a deal? Okay. No way. These coins are only bur burning a hole in my pocket anyway. This is the good thing, yeah? I'm getting started, but you were staying out of the way. This pipe is open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Apart from leap years, uh, you are using it whenever, yeah? Wise people are always being more efficient. You make the wise decision. Well, I am going. Well, that's not. Oh yeah, let's go get that heart pillow, I guess. We get this episode, la the last chapter, aren't we? Anyways, then we we'll see you coming. Erect a heart pillar from the ground. Oh no, I don't 
I'll marry you though, I'm gonna let Bowser do this one. No, 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 it's okay. Chaos. If you fall to the hundred, the chaos world grows and the purity heart fades. And as that happens, your hero will fall to the world, where the all games are ended. That is in the section of the light prog prognosticus that I, that Merlin, Merlin and I just decided. It seems to suggest that if you fail to pass these doors, all worlds will be ruined, and apparently your lives will be lost along with the purity heart. I know that what I've, what I've just shared with you might only serve to discourage you. I still must send you forth, however. It saddens me that I cannot do anything else. Jump, Mario, jump! Twice. And now behind here, there should be a switch. Dematerialization dematerialization of objects. Power plus. The next um, pixel, optional pixel, piccolo. Because after this point, it becomes a lot harder to get her. Or it, I don't remember if piccolo is a female or a male. Uh, just be warned, a major story event happens which makes it harder to do basically anything for a while. I'm not going to spoil that, so uh, warning now. This is probably the best time you have to go get pix uh, the next pixel. And I believe the quest is initiated by going to the Fortune Teller's house, but in the flip side. Sorry, I mean flop side. Precious climbing. See, I was hoping for maybe you, you to do me a big favor. Only can I? Im could you? Can you? I implore. Only if you. Small one. Uh, thank you. Thank you. True. I knew I could count on you. During my confessing move, I lost my 
confusing move. I lost my crystal ball so smooth. I use a replacement now, but it feels wrong somehow. I believe that Mer Lovely used the same type of same type of ball as me. Could you go to her and ask for one of her crystal balls real fast? You know where Mer Lovely is, right? Where are outskirts of flip side flip side are in sight. Thank you. Great, let's go. Initiate quest, uh, or whatever. Don't worry, that's the place. <laughs> Welcome to the Fortune Teller's Fortress. If you pay just a few coins, I'll tell you a path you need to follow next. One fortune will cost you precisely 55 coins. Would you like to hear it? No! Ah, I see. Your fortune does not interest you then. So, be on your way. Be on your way. <laughs> You've been waiting. I've been waiting here. You want to ask me about Crystal Ball? There is nothing to fear. I am lovely. It's my job to know the future. Marie sent you, did she not? Yes, I've ready the ball. Please take it. Or I'd like to say that, but there's something I must ask of you first. But I do not know, I do not like it, but I am in training. I told someone about it and they said that they had some useful equipment. But I've been so busy that I haven't had a chance to pick it up yet. The kind of fellow who offered me the equipment is the Flip Wizard Bestovius. It would, be, it would really help me out if you could agree to hack. If you would agree to go to his house and pick it up. If you do that, then I'll give you the crystal ball. Mysterious' house is beyond the flip side. Tower on the red. Oh, we know where he is. He gave us the power to do this. And with that power, we will return in 3D. Ah, the flip wizard can't even go in 3D. He's a fraud. Ah, hero. What of you, the blingity brilliant, the bl What need have you of the blindingly brilliant Bestovius? I need you to flip the port, the black hole outside into 3D. Ah, so you've come for the training machine in place of Mer Lovely. Hmm, yes, of course, I know of such a machine. Normally, I'd never allow it to bask in the, spl bask in the splendor of my knowledge, but... You are a hero. No, you are a splendid man. No, I've been hero. I have a favor of you to ask of you. I've learned of certain something the mayor of Yold Town. You must retrieve it uh, for me. I have asked for it back many times. But old watch it. You must treasure it, for he has never returned it. Retrieve it for me, Gustavius, and I shall grant your train machine. Simply ask him for you know what, and he will understand. Now be gone. Is it a DVD? I can't just teleport straight to your channel. Okay, old man, watch it. Hand over the goods. Well, it's you. Watch it. I was just looking for you. I need you to do something. What? You watch it? Don't give me that not again look. Dumplings, you listen to me, you hear? Open those ears before I box them. So here's the thing. This strange lady showed up in my dreams and talked on and on about something. I don't know what it was, but she needed help with something. Watch it. Yep, this is exactly what she looked like. Oh, so your great 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 grandmother. I don't know what her deal is, but she needs to get out of my dreams. Watch it. So get off my rug and help her out. Maybe she'll quit flapping her lip. If you put a sock in her trap, I'll give you whatever you want. Watch it. Oh, I almost forgot. I gotta give you this. Paper! Because it's Paper Mario. This is such a good Twitch moment if I have one. She's been in my dream so long, I guess I've become a fan, a fan of sorts. So go get her to sign this. And then you know, then you know what you can do. You can watch it. Yes, and that's what's known as pay-per-view. 
And of course, someone turned on my lights. Using an Alexa. Because of course they could. Okay, let's go to chapter 4. No, 1 4. So you've come to me. Oh, we stand at the level there. <laughs> Completely forgot what I was doing here. It is I, Melumina. It's a pleasure to meet you again here. What? What am I what am I still doing here? I slept here for 1500 years waiting the, to give you the pure heart. Having done that, I decided I might as well enjoy a quick nap. But I couldn't sleep. Perhaps it's just because I had just slept so long. But even after I sat in bed and read for a bit, I still wasn't sleepy. No, because I'm sleepy. If this keeps up, I thought I would be reduced to a mere phantom in this world. So I tried counting sheep, but even counting 100,000 sheep didn't work. Then I became frustrated with myself for not being able to sleep. So I thought, why not send out my frustration to someone telepathically? I figured a message would bring someone in the nearby town of ancient blood. I used to do it all the time when I was single and wanted to meet people. I was wild girl back then, throwing caution and my heart to the wind. One day my mind message reached three different men. From that day on my heart was tossing... So as I was saying, I just couldn't get to sleep at all. Hey, are you sleeping? No, I was just sleep listening. People are suffering from severe lack of sleep. Doesn't that tug at your heart? Not really. People in this millennium have no sense of compassion. Hey, back to what I was saying. Well, yeah, I'm a night owl, do you expect? I was trying to vent some of my frustration with te uh, te telepathic pranks, but the person receiving the tel telepathy was hard of hearing, so it barely worked. It only made him more sad. But it helped me realise something else. Maybe I couldn't sleep because I was sad. And when I realised since childhood, I was always... I always fell asleep to lullabies. My mum was always around when I slept as a child. She'd hold my hand and sing sweet, sweet, sing sweet songs. Of course, once I need, moved out, I need someone else to sing them to me. I was quite popular back then, I should tell you. I finally found four men who met my standards for lullaby singing. And from that on, from, from that day on, my life was awash in whirling lo a pool of love songs. I had four men singing to me when I was when when I there was. So I decided to, but we all, so we all could went, but. So, but then I said, however, and that's when dozens of people thronged to his place to say their last farewells, and their voices were the lullaby that put me to sleep for 1500 years, but now nobody's here, and I'm all alone, I can't get to sleep, it's so lonely, it's just so terrible, I can't stand it. And you're sleeping again. Of course I'm not. You can clearly see Tippy's just on my head, keeping me awake. I can't believe you. Honestly, I'm wringing my heart out to you. And you, you just... <clears throat> hmm? All this talking is making me a little drowsy. And since you've been here, I haven't found myself um, so lonely. Maybe I can get back to sleep now. Was that your plan all along? Brilliant thinking. Hmm, yes, I'm feeling crazy now. I think I can get to sleep. Thank you, Hero. Now I can get back to sleep. What, what was it? Why are you bothering me now that I'm finally getting back to sleep? Huh? That was rough. Well, certainly, just give me that paper now. How can you hold it? Now then. You're always in my heart. Signed, Fantabulous Merlumina. And, um, 
Oh, and let's put a little kiss on the end here. Yeah, there we go. How's that? Okay. So we're all settled then. Good to hear. And thank you, Hera. I will return this sweet embrace to my dreams. Please take good care of this world. Good night. You're so lucky you can't see the sky outside. Speaking of which, I was just really thirsty then. And I'm back at Watchit's house. Hey, you back. That lady up and left my dreams. I can't watch it. She's not there. I can't watch. What can't you watch? Bad enough to hear her way along on, but it's worse to see her disappear. I have nothing else going on, my. I'm even whopping folks, my cane is going on. Take Cudge with you. Is this. What's it called? Just look at those. curlicues and strifty doos in her handwriting. I'm more flustered than the time I dropped my hot griddle in my grunders. Dumplings! Where was I? Oh, I owe you one pound now. You can take anything I own. Eh? You want the you know what? Whoever told you about that, better watch it. I see, so Disturbius asked you to get it for him. It doesn't make a whisper of sense why he'd ask someone else to get it for him. Fine then, take it, but you better watch it. I think that's why he says watch it so much. It's a DVD. <laughs> that's my cousin. He must have lots of fancy, dancy, hibbly jibbly wizard hobbies. But nothing means more to me than Merlin Mina. Crazy saying that name out loud. Say hello to the stories for me. Um, lock him with a cane or a newspaper or something. Well, I can throw a CD in his eye if that helps. Yo. Does the you know what have a description? I need to see this. Let's see. Uh, you know what? It's either a DVD of something extremely girly or something extremely 18 plus. You, well, would have been like. I'm having kids when I was 13, so anyone who would remember this stuff would probably be. Oh, wait, they would be over 13, so. That joke wouldn't work for them anyway. Hmm, so the hero returns. Did you get what the you know what from Watch It? You better watch it. We watched it. He told us to watch it. Ah, you have it. This pleases Vestovius greatly. Yeah, I'm thinking it's on the lewd end on the spectrum. This is quite the collector's item. I was worried what that Watch It had lost it. Ah, never mind now, I'm thinking it's an entire run of Marta Pony. Is this for stealing something from the Grand Vestovius? Ah, yes, of course, you've seen the training machine. Of course, I remember such little faith. Take it, hero. It would only disturb my sublime energies. Yes, a DS. I, Vestovius, once used it myself, you see. But I upgraded to the new, newer, sleeker model, so I no longer require its services. You had better give it to that lovely and send along greetings from the servants. Well, the newer model was uh, should have, should be the DSi because uh, he wouldn't have a 3DS. It wouldn't have been out yet. Why don't we just skip the animations for this? To be honest. Uh, right, yeah, we have to go to the other side. Oh, no, 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 oh, for goodness sake, why? <sighs> oh, 
But Mario's nose. Mario's nose is so weird in that image. Yes, I've lost my way around. And I keep nosing your Actually... Yeah, you just wasted 55 of my coins. Did you pick up my equipment for me? This is it. This is it. That'll be 55 coins, please. What? We wonder what body part I work with this. Well, my brain, of course. I've already trained every other part of my body, so that just leaves my head. It's so nice of you. Thank you very much. Well, then, as promised, here is your gift. We got a crystal ball! Oh, you know charge for this, but please tell her, now we're even. On that note, take care. I need my money back. Hand it over, your prediction was so... Bad. You've just told me another quest. Give me my money. I'll make you train your swivel. There we are. You deal with it. You will swivel like this until I get bored. You know, I feel like that 50 coins I just spent is going to bite, bite me back later. Did you get a ball for me? Oh, do I? Thank you, guys. Gee. That's it. That's the one. Oh, oh well done. Thank you. Thanks a ton. Well then, let's see now. I must thank you somehow. I guess there's only one thing I can do for you, hun. One charm for you. Woohoo. If you want to charm on someone, cross the counter and talk to me, hun. This is you. you look angry or blue. A charm for me is not enough. Kids these days, ungrateful stuff. Fine. It would be remiss if I did not give you this. Random house key. Yay. Once there was an explorer, a charm I cast with a purr. He gave me this, yes sir. I do not know what it unlocks. I bet it's handy. Buy my socks. You can have it. It rocks. Well now. Buy and how? Wow, there are coins. Sparkling sun up in the sky, rise fortune on these guys. Charming is now complete. You're set to go compete. When that charm wears out, come back for another bout. Thank you, that was a free charm and I will accept. Now let's go open that door to a random house. Okay, at the house. Giant treasure chest alert. Doodly do. The bird that warbles, tweets, the bug that cries, cheep. The frog, the ribbit, the dog. <laughs> Goats and cars. Me. All the things you sing, you see. To live is to make music. My words, could it be? I said something poetic. Could it tr truly be? And you are... I am Piccolo. 
kind of footsteps sang to me, hop, hop, and over again. But those sounds are not everything. Your, your all, your essence. Nope. I'll show you why. The Melody's Pixel name, Piccolo, joined your party group. If you use Piccolo, different music will play depending on the character you use. There's some secret power to sprinkle in. Please move to hear sounds that match your character. Piccolo, lo, lo, lo. Beat of your spirit. I will find it and play it for you. Yeah, just get a fan for every time you do a battle or something. Two rooms are for me. That is some heavy metal. Pokemon Trainer Gladium would like to battle. Talked about this place yet, that's for sure. Yo, you stand in your fondest hopes. Card shop. Selling the hope for coins. Got luck, we got a new card in today. What you need? Okay. Flora Saping card. Chomp. Chopper. What's a chopper? Oh yes, I do know what those are. Those are uh, things in chapter 4. They look like that in chapter 4. Well, kind of useless for now. Uh, but if you want to go for 100% in this game, that includes all cards. Go for it. Of course, there are many ways to achieve that. So, uh... Okay, now we have access to emergency rations, so we should be able to do even better now with uh, flip side pill and uh, And this might be like the best time to go get it, or I could just wait slightly later to get it. Because I'll definitely get it before I beat the final boss of the game, that's for sure. Uh, speaking of which, I need to make preparations so we can go do the next chapter, I guess. I don't make a mistake before, but that's annoying, I guess. Oh well, they, they happen. Mm, if I get poison, then I'll help, I guess. Anyway, so, some stuff happened this episode where we did basically nothing. We were on a quest just to get some more stuff. That's besides the point. We make preparations for the next chapter, so we should be fine. See you guys then. Simple stuff around.